Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to GeoGuessr. We are doing theme parks worldwide. Uh, there's a story to it, but this, I was not expecting to fucking start this. Airpano.com. Uh, well, we do have the logo right here. We do got some water. We do have a flag over here that I don't really recognize. But, god damn. Look at this place. This is, I don't even know, is this an indoor theme park? I see a water park over here. But I don't really see like roller coasters. I see what looks like this is probably like go karts. Uh, you got like a racetrack. I don't know if I would call this a fucking theme park. Oh, we got an egg, th the egg thing over here. I think we're over probably in the Middle East. But god damn, we got like a drag strip. I don't even know what I would call this. I don't think it would be a theme park unless this. This giant thing right in the middle here is a theme park. Is an Ikea over here? Like, eh? The only part of this that's a theme park is this water park down here. But it does seem pretty flat, pretty open. Uh, there's an airport over here. Obviously, there's a plane right there that's probably just taking off. Uh, we do got some buildings over on the water. That egg-shaped thing down there, which is throwing me off. Uh, but theme parks worldwide. Now, I don't normally theme my videos, right? I just I just go for it, see what happens, move on. Uh, this past weekend, I was in Hershey Park, Pennsylvania uh, with a few friends, and we were having a great old time. So I figured, what better time than to do a theme park episode than after I just got back from the theme park. But this, this is completely different than I was expecting. And we're, we're like high up. We got planes. So we got to be a few thousand feet above. I, I don't even know where to bother guessing. I really don't. Um, we got desert. We got islands. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to guess the Middle East, man. Somewhere in the Middle East. Let's go fucking outside of Dubai, I guess. Not bad. So Wolf Trekker and myself had the right idea. Uh, so he gets more in Dubai, I guess a little bit further south, but it was the general location. Uh, so good start, good start. This is definitely not in the United States. Uh, Fujiyama. King of Coasters. Interesting. Now, I, I love roller coasters. The only issue is I'm a very tall person. I am six foot five. You know, I'm fucking tall. So a lot of the, uh, the strap-ons where they go over your shoulders uh, some of them are too tall for me uh, like not tall enough they're like too short uh, and then I'll have a problem when it comes to uh, sitting and being secure in a fucking harness how fucking great is that um, but you know most of the time everything is okay uh, I don't really have too much of an issue with a mountain like this I think we're probably over by uh, Mount Fiji do not need any tickets, please go to re-enter gate. Um, so I'm thinking Japan, uh, but I also don't know too much about, you know, the language differences. We do have what appears to be like the green, the blue, the orange, and the red, which probably lead you to uh, different different parts of the park. But I'm thinking I'm thinking Japan, uh, but and then with the Mount Fuji, I could probably guess near Mount Fuji. Uh, we got, yeah, with, with like the things that look like Pokemon like that, it makes me think Japan. Fiji, yeah, I see the, the Fuji right there. So we're definitely by Mount Fuji, uh, which definitely leads credibility to this being a Japanese park. Now, do you, do you like roller coasters or amusement parks or anything like that? And if so, what is, what is your favorite ride you've ever been on? Now, obviously, if you don't like theme parks, you're going to be like, uh, fuck that shit, I'm not dealing with any of that. But if you love roller coasters, what's the what's the greatest ride you've ever been on? Now, I don't know if I have one. Now, I've, I've been on quite a few. I've been on, you know, what, what has been called the tallest in the world. I've been to places that, 
you know, they're like, this is the greatest fucking roller coaster ever. Meanwhile, it's really not. Uh, that's another mountain. But, like, what is your favorite, your personal favorite? Now, at Dorney, not Dorney, uh, God. At Hershey, there we go. Uh, we rode this thing called the Big Bear, I think it was. And that was a lot of fun. That that I didn't really fit into because again I was I was tall and the shoulder things were a little eh. But you know it was definitely it was definitely fun. Now the only issue is I don't know where uh, Mount Fuji is in Japan. Uh, so we're fucked there. Damn it! I didn't even guess. Found it. Mount Fuji. Well, congratulations, Wolf Tracker. You got this one. At least I knew kind of where it was. Uh, interesting. Europa Park, and I see a bunch of the European flags. Why didn't I guess that? Whatever. Um, the Heinrich Machwagen, 1932. Uh, I guess that leaves kind of credibility we could be in Germany. Potentially, but it's Europa Park. I've never even heard of this place before. Now, I have been to a few parks in uh, other countries, uh, one of them was a place called Latte World. I'm pretty sure that was in South Korea. And I'm pretty sure Latte World was the world's largest indoor park. Or something along those lines. I think we just ran out of internet, which sucks. Uh, yeah, I think my internet shit out on us. But I see the German flag right here over by the entrance, which makes me think Germany. We do have a little, whatever, mouse. Uh, but we do have most of the European Union fucking places. Yeah, definitely. Definitely do not have uh, internet right now, which is kind of cool. Right? We kind of get screwed like that. Uh, but if I was to guess somewhere in Germany, it would probably be outside of Berlin. Uh, but I'm feeling Germany. Now, this is where it gets difficult. Europa Park. No idea. No fucking idea. But, it could be worse. And we have a dome. God. We're not really getting any more clues. Can't really go too far. We have the Halloween thing over here. It is in English. Which, kind of is weird. I think. Like, we, we might not actually be in Germany. God. My fucking internet, man. Fucking A. Alright, let's just guess somewhere in Germany. Let's guess... Uh, outside of Berlin. And, it was not in Berlin, but it was in fact Germany. Uh, more towards the southwest. Next round, next round. Trains. Is this a fucking amusement park? This is an amusement park? Uh, I don't know about you, I don't know if I would call this an amusement park. The fuck? Uh, okay, uh, not an amusement park, not a theme park? I mean, what, what is classified as a theme park? Gruto! Alright, so that's what it's called, it's called Gruto Parkas. Uh, all right. What is it? That's that's the real question. What the fuck is it? And if it is a theme park, it's just a train park. Nobody's really fucking here. We have a zone. Uh, we got whatever this is. This is probably the most helpful. Uh, too bad we can't fucking see it. Uh, I'm thinking probably the northern part of the world, so I'm not going to even bother with the southern hemisphere. Uh, maybe Nordic, Sweden maybe. Uh, we got the, the umlaut on the U, which could be Germany I suppose. Uh, we do have another sign coming up. Let's see. Merkine, that sounds familiar. 
And we got the, the C and the U. Droskiniki. Uh. Murkan definitely sounds familiar, though. Um, and I don't know why I want to think over here. God. Uh, fuck me. God damn it. Alright, um, I'm definitely thinking, like, this, this general area. Uh, mainly because of the sea. Now, I forget which country around here has the sea like that. It's definitely somewhere over in the eastern part. Uh, could it be Belarus? Maybe? Nah. No way. Right? I don't see the sea shit. I don't see the sea shit here, either. This isn't even a fucking theme park. Oh, God. Well, I mean, we did fuck up by not guessing on Japan. So, I guess it really doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's go to Latvia. And you got it on the fucking head. Holy shit. How the fuck did you get this one? Gruto Parkas. Now, I have no idea what that is. Uh, I have no idea the general idea behind it. It was in Lithuania, but you're walking away with this one, Wolf Tracker. Congratulations. Did they just put us back in the same location? They just put us back in the same location. Damn it. Alright. Well, that one could be a little bit better. Uh, I forget exactly where in Lithuania it was. Uh, Kiruta. Kiruta Sparks. All right, and yeah, so we had two in the same location. Not bad, not bad. At least we were able to uh, find it the second time around. But I have no idea what park that actually is. It's not a theme park to me, at least. But we, if we would have guessed Japan, we would have still lost. But it would have been a little bit closer. Um, but you know, sometimes stuff like that happens. I figured we were gonna get you know a lot more availability to have different locations because there's a lot more than four theme parks worldwide so you know having a having a double location kind of sucks but i do understand it it does happen from time to time uh, we can look at the full results so let's click on that see uh up oh, it was just me and wolf checker so i mean not bad we didn't guess for japan that did throw us off by about I'm going to say 4,000 points, so we were looking to get 20,700 roughly, but Wolf Checker definitely had that one in the bag uh, with 23,489, so good job, congratulations, I don't know, even know why it's showing that I guessed here, maybe that's just the zero guess, just guesses in the middle of the fucking African coast, Prime Meridian in the equator line, but I do hope you all enjoyed watching this episode of GeoGuessr. Have a good rest of your day, and bye-bye.